Vicki Slowick, a member of John Knox Presbyterian Church. Listen while I read one of my favorite Bible passages, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. This version is from the New Living Translation. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. During these pandemic months, we've seen major changes in our lives. Some of you have experienced great losses. We're all concerned with catching or spreading the coronavirus. We've made changes in our daily routines, maybe made some difficult decisions about how we're spending our time, or we've had to lower our expectations. It's sometimes difficult to see the good that comes out of such difficult times. So let's look at the positive. Let's take a moment to look at these things, some of which may seem trivial to you, but they're all reminders that God is continually refreshing our lives. Have you been working from home? You've had to change your procedures, how you're doing things for work. But look at how you found new and creative ways to communicate and get the job done. That can be so rewarding. Have you lost income because of the virus? For some, it's a new experience to need help from other people. And that can be difficult. But when the help comes, what an experience of grace. For the giver, too. I can't help but think about the people in our John Knox kitchen who've been preparing thousands of meals for others. Wow! Have you started a new exercise regime or improved how you're eating? You're healthier, you're stronger, more rested and relaxed. You feel like you've got more energy. You feel great. You look great. We cannot wait to get together and celebrate the new you. How about your favorite activities? On hold? But I've heard people talk about reviving the art of letter writing or rereading a favorite book, discovering a new author, or maybe learning something new. For example, my husband Peter and I are taking intense Spanish lessons. Hablo espanol no muy bien. <laughs> Miss eating out? Has it been fun to cook and share meals with those in your household? Slowing down, enjoying each other's company? What great gifts. How about your extended family? What's new here? Again, letter writing. <laughs> Zoom has been great too for keeping in touch with each other in the John Knox family. And also, for example, my family is spread all over the country and we Zoom every week to keep in touch with each other. And I know that's going to continue long after the pandemic is over. Have you experienced cabin fever? <laughs> During a recent post-worship coffee hour, I enjoyed hearing people talk about uh, reorganizing and cleaning their closets, garages, basements, attics, painting walls, moving furniture. The house looks brand new. What a lift for the spirits. How many of you have established a certain time or a special place where you read scripture, pray, worship, listen to what God is saying to you? Again, a habit that can easily continue long after the pandemic is over. Listen again to the Bible verse, this time from the, the message. Now we look inside, and what we see is that anyone united with the Messiah gets a fresh start, is created new. The old life is gone, a new life burgeons. Look at it. I love how that ends. Look at it. I encourage you to do the same. Examine the details of your life. Are there reminders of God recreating you? He's got you setting new priorities, redefining yourselves, finding new ways to help each other, and give God's love and grace. The old has gone, the new has come. Look at it. <laughs> we are slowly headed towards the end of the virus. And so let's keep looking out for each other, helping each other. And remember, God cares for you and so do we.